All right, so this is going viral. <laughs> Funny Marco had um, Southside and G Herbo on his uh, on his platform. Funny Marco was an interesting guy, interesting comedian. <clears throat> G Herbo is a rapper, Southside is a producer, and he had him on a show. I guess they going viral because they said that G Herbo was going was was doing too much. But knowing Funny Marco's personality, he's more of a like yo. This is like more of a skit. I want you to act like this. So I don't know if this is real or not. I, I, let's just play the video. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, you thought it was just me. <laughs> oh. Where did you get that jacket from? I don't know. Where you get these dumbass jackets from? They made me wear it to come to college. We got wrinkles in this stink. Bubba got stink. Like and a bomb coat, we gotta put the money in the cup for you, cause you know what I'm saying. We gotta make yeah. sure you boom, you gonna get up out of here the right way. You know what I'm saying? Hold on, I might not need the 250. Yeah, just still let you gonna call it back, bro. You feel me? 250 over with. We ain't tripping about the 250. Well, I got 200. That's all I got for you. Man. That's all you got for him, bro? Hell yeah! All right, nigga. bet. The fuck, dude? He got a TV show. What's going on? The TV show ain't air yet. You ain't paid me for coming on here. I ain't got paid yet. You, nobody got paid from the looks of it. I'm nobody gonna have to pay the crew. Who on the job? Nobody paid, gang. Okay. You fucking up. Like, don't do the shit I did. Because I used to go years without paying niggas. Like, mm -hmm. You know, make niggas like on some savage shit. How the hell did this you come about? You're not tough like that. How did so it come about? You can't get away with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could really like not pay niggas. But nigga, your name is Hubert. Relax, nigga. <laughs> Calm the fuck down. <laughs> your name is Hubert. Relax. Now, granted, I think this is a skit. I think before they turned the cameras on that they was like, yo, just act whatever. Just say whatever the fuck you want. Da, 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 da. I don't get I think this is a skit. I think it's a skit. I don't know if this is really like true. Well, before I even play the video, hold on. Because I think Funny Marco did. Um, <clears throat> make sure nothing crazy pop up. Please, nothing crazy don't pop up on my Twitter feed. Please, 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 please. Please, nobody getting their cheeks clapped on my Twitter page. Please, 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 please. Oh, yeah, this shit is all over the place. There's always a moment. There's always that one moment where black people take things too far, and I don't know. I think this is, I don't think this is real, though. Let me see. Because I think Funny Marco put out a statement. And you can't take you can't take you can't take Twitter serious because everybody miserable on Twitter. All right, yeah, he did put out a statement. What did he say? I understand a lot of y'all mad about the interview. I was upset while it was going on, but I understand. <clears throat> but I understand, and, and I got a job to do. And no one. And, <clears throat> and one thing about me, I respect people on my show. I didn't want to match the energy. Oh, so oh oh. I mean, if it was a skit, then why is he putting out this type of, nah. I understand a lot of y'all mad about the interview. I was upset while it was going on, but understand I got a job to do. And one thing about me, I respect people on my show. I didn't want to match their energy. <clears throat> it's so many L's I took on my journey. I wish I could show. I don't hide anything, so I feel it. I feel it was only right to put the episode out myself and just learn from the episode and move on. Thank whoever supporting me. It's a mindset thing. I'm I'm thinking that this is a skit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I'm gonna tell y'all to do this. Y'all act like this. Y'all, y'all, y'all. If y'all wanna crack jokes on me, you can crack jokes on me. We, we it's, it's all for entertainment. But with this type of, with th with this type of statement, if this is real, niggas need to chill out. Niggas, niggas is wilding. Niggas is wilding. Niggas is wildin', niggas is wildin', niggas is wildin'. But you can't, you know what I'm saying? That's my co-host right here, give him a chair, please. You can't do that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sit my co-host down. Yeah, Go ahead, co-host. Take this stupid ass shit off. And we need that money back when we finish. That's our payment. And even and even with that statement, even with that statement, I can't tell if Funny Marco is trolling, trolling or not, because that's just his character. He's a troll. 
and I'm not letting the man, I'm not letting the man talk crazy. If, if this was real, let's just say if it was, close your eyes, use your imagination. Let's say if the situation was real. G Herbo, them Hershey ass pants, them Kit Kat ass pants. Boy, I'm about to flam you. Them tight ass fucking pants. Them fucking cocoa butter ass pants. Them, your legs about to fucking pop out them jeans. You're not intimidating me, buddy. And your name is Hubert. Relax. Relax. And you got no sideburns at 26. At your big age, you don't got no sideburns. And you look like Emma from Sesame Street. Now I'm about to, now, now, now he got me mad. I'm about to beg you. What, I don't care if these designers, what the fuck are these mud buckets on your feet? What the fuck are them mud? And you double lacing, you triple lace. No, you are triple knotting designer shoes. Designer shoes with the tongues tucked out is crazy, Gango. Crank crazy. I mean, he got a lot of money. Da, da, da. I don't give a fuck how much money he has. He told bro, what the fuck is you? He got that shit off. He got that shit off. This American Eagle ass shirt. Say, now, nah, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Doodle brown ass fucking pants. Chocolate factory ass pants. I know your pants don't get ashy. Them pants look like they've been lotion. Buttery ass pants. Slippery ass pants. Tight ass pants. Funny pants. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this huh? Hey, what age you at? Huh? Hold this. Hey, who else getting? I got my shit off. Two hundred dollars, boy. I got him. Huh? Never mind. I still think this is a skit, though. I don't think this is real. Just stupid ass out of it. AJ Strong was you? <laughs> yeah. That was life. Life. Mm -hmm. This shit fun though. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Man, life fun as fuck right now. <laughs> Amazing. So this is dope. Y'all watch wrestling growing up, right? Watch what? Wrestling. Like, like, oh, oh Hulk smash. Like if that. you guys became the Undertaker, who became, who be Undertaker? Uh, I would be Undertaker, he'd be yeah, Kane. Yeah, he'd be Undertaker, I'd be Kane. What makes him Undertaker? Because he's fucked up. I'm fucked up, bro. He said that. I'm Kane, because it's like. Chill? I'm just here. I'm just, he Undertaker, I gotta be Kane. What the fuck else I'm gonna be? If he undertake over who else I'm gonna be, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking it. I think it's all scripted. I think it's all scripted. You're not gonna convince me that nah, cause Herbert don't her, Your name is Herb. That's crazy, Herbert. But uh he don't he don't act like that. I've seen other interviews of him. He don't really act like that. He's very humble. I think this is a skit. Idiot, ain't they brothers? <laughs> he ain't fucking ain't brothers, under bro. Like the fuck. Okay, so if he Undertaker, I'm Kane, dickhead. You could be the referee. No, you the referee. Stupid. <laughs> Referees do be tricky. Fuck yeah. did you get that hat from, bro? That's what I wanna know. Uh, I got this from Target. Nowhere found it. Target. Let, Let me see this stupid ass hat. <laughs> that dumb ass shit I don't do. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Uh, guys, this is very the best episode ever, and I'm. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself right now. <laughs> come on, bro. This is a fucking... Come on. This is a skit. This is a skit. And if it's... It, it, this is a skit. And if it got so many people mad, all jokes aside, I know I flamed this nigga tight-ass pants for about a good three minutes. But if these two can get niggas mad like that, they need to be acting. No funny shit. Them, them niggas need to be acting because niggas is on an uproar on Twitter. I still think that this is a skit. I think this is all planned. <laughs> you got to hold up the fingers. You know the fingers? Man, give me some old liquor, man. That's the, hold the fingers. Enjoy the fingers. That's the distress call. Oh, Can I have yeah. alcohol? The fingers, you got to hold it. You know the fingers. That's the distress call. Alcohol. <laughs> alcohol. Alcohol. Thank you. That's my man's name. Trey P. Put your face on the camera. No, no, I'm going to turn you up. It's my dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Ski? Uh, it don't cost like me that. nothing to do that. Yeah. Is you a real nigga or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm definitely real. I don't think you are. I'm definitely real. I take the charge. If Your I son to. hates you. Yeah, I know. He really nah, hates you. Nah, my son don't hate nobody. He pure. He just don't like you. Yeah. I don't like yeah. you either. Your son hates you. He really nah, hates you. Nah, my son don't hate nobody. He... Yeah. But now nah, I ain't gonna lie. You can't my really son, get... the first time I ever heard my son say he hates somebody, I swear to God, he really said it on cap. He didn't even cop a cold. It's like, 
midnight. I really had him at Copper Cove. Boom. He see Buck on Cap. Buck always fucking with him. Buck on TJ. <laughs> on Cap, look, we riding past. I got the Mind the conversation or just him? Shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> <coughs> Bro, this is plant. This is plant. This is plant. This is plant. For everybody that's on Twitter that's fucking got their fucking panties in a bunch, can't take a joke. Nigga, this is plant. This is planned. It's big thing, bro. You're not even like Listen, this. Our show now, bro. You feel so me? Boom. Swerving curve. We putting off a couple calls. I swear to God, he see he see Buck. I swear to God, my son say, "Daddy." He said, "I hate that bitch." Who Buck? <laughs> you hear me? Who Buck? Who Buck? Huh? Who Buck? You don't want to be Buck. So yeah, shut bro. the fuck up, dude. Yeah, bro. Just shut the fuck bro. up and. <laughs> nah, sitting sitting these couch ass pants. Where the fuck he get them pants from? You gonna come back in in a minute, bro. We got you, bro. Don't, don't trip. Look, don't care. You said, I hate that bitch. Walking off from, from Copper Cove, I spent the block. I told him, I said, but my son said, he hate you. He said, daddy, I hate that bitch. He said, daddy, I hate that bitch. On cap, that's what he said about Buck. Word. My boy. <laughs> I hate you, you crazy. That nigga. Oh, boy. All right, cool. We gonna yeah we gonna leave it here. I honestly think, in my opinion, that this is a skit. It was planned, probably before the show came. Before they started rolling, they was like, "Hey, I want y'all to just act like a dickhead for." A I think this is planned. I think this is planned. I don't think this is real. Could it be? Maybe. But. I I I I I just don't see them doing no shit like that. I, I just don't see Herbert Hubert doing no shit like that. I think it's all planned. It's just for fun. It's just jokes. I don't think it's that serious at all. But what y'all think? Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Take it easy on my boy G Herbo. He already had them fucked up ass pants on in that interview. Give my man a break. You know what I'm saying? Give my man a break. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm on. I mean, I'm out. Holy shit.